Augustus Caesar additionally recognized as Octavian, was once the first Roman emperor, reigning from 27 BC till his loss of life in Ad 14. His reputation as the founder of the Roman Principate has consolidated a legacy as one of the biggest leaders in human history. The reign of Augustus initiated an imperial cult and technology recognized with imperial peace, the Pax Romana or Pax Augusta. The Roman world was once generally free from large-scale combat for greater than two centuries, in spite of non-stop wars of imperial growth on the empire's frontiers and the year-long civil warfare recognized as the year of the four emperors over the imperial succession, originally named Gaius Octavius. He used to be born into an historic and rich equestrian department of the plebeian gens Octavia. His maternal great-uncle Julius Caesar was once assassinated in 44 BC and Octavius used to be named in Caesar's will as his adopted son and heir. As a result, he inherited Caesar's name, estate, and the loyalty of his legions. Heat Mark Antony and Marcus Lepidus shaped the second triumvirate to defeat the assassins of Caesar. Following their victory at the Battle of Philippi 42 BC, the Triumvirate divided the Roman Republic amongst themselves and dominated as de facto dictators. The Triumvirate was once sooner or later torn aside by means of the competing ambitions of its members. Lepidus used to be exiled in 36 BC and Antony used to be defeated by means of Octavian at the Battle of Actium in 31 BC. After the loss of life of the Second Triumvirate, Augustus restored the outward facade of the Free Republic, with governmental strength vested in the Roman Senate the Goth magistrates and the legislative assemblies, but maintained autocratic authority through having the Senate provide him lifetime tenure as commander-in-chief, tribune, and censor. A comparable ambiguity is considered in his chosen names, the implied rejection of monarchical titles whereby he known as himself Princeps Civitatus first citizen juxtaposed with his adoption of the historical title Augustus. Augustus dramatically enlarged the empire, annexing Egypt, Dalmatia, Panania, Noricum and Raidia, increasing possessions in Africa, and finishing the conquest of Hispania however suffered a central setback in Germania. Beyond the frontiers, he secured the empire with a buffer area of customer states and made peace with the Parthian Empire through diplomacy. He reformed the Roman gadget of taxation, developed networks of roads with an reputable courier system, mounted a standing army, set up the Praetorian Guard, reputable police and firefighting offerings for Rome, and rebuilt a lot of the metropolis throughout his reign. Augustus died in Ad 14 at the age of 75, in all likelihood from herbal causes. Persistent rumors, substantiated really via deaths in the imperial family, have claimed his spouse Livia poisoned him. He used to be succeeded as emperor by means of his adopted son Tiberius, Livia's son and additionally former husband of Augustus solely organic otter Julia. Apparently, the world is not a wish-granting factory. I found Rome a city of bricks and left it a city of marble. Have I played the part well? Then applaud as I exit. If you want Trainbow, you have to deal with the rain. The tales of our exploits will survive as long as the human voice itself. Is there anyone in Rome who has not slept with my daughter? We write our names in the sand and then the waves roll in and wash them away. 
Just as men must give up economic control when their wives share the responsibility for the family's financial well-being, women must give up exclusive parental control when their husbands assume more responsibility for child care. The greatest impediments to changes in our traditional roles seem to lie not in the visible world of conscious intent, but in the murky realm of the unconscious mind. By marrying too soon, many individuals sacrifice their chance to struggle through this purgatory of solitude and search toward a greater sense of self-confidence. They glance at the world outside the family and with hardly a second thought grasp anxiously for a partner. In marriage they seek a substitute for the security of the family of origin and an escape from loneliness. What they do not realize is that moving so quickly from one family to another, they make it easy to transfer to the new marriage all their difficult experiences in the family of origin. Practice the master of all things. If we could survive without a wife, citizens of Rome, all of us would do without that nuisance. But since nature has so decreed that we cannot manage comfortably with them, nor live in any way without them, we must plan for our lasting preservation rather than for our temporary pleasure. Behold them, conquerors of the world, the toga-clad race of Romans. To seek to keep the established constitution unchanged argues a good citizen and a good man. Julius Caesar learned that Alexander, having completed nearly all his conquests by the time he was 32 years old, was at another loss to know what he should do during the rest of his life. Where it Augustus expressed his surprise that Alexander did not regard it as a greater task to set in order the empire which he had won than to win it. Everyone wants to lead an extraordinary life. May it be my privilege to have the happiness of establishing the commonwealth on a firm and stable basis and thus enjoy the reward which I desire, but only if I may be called the architect of the best possible government, and bear with me the hope when I die that the foundations which I have laid for its future government will stand deep and secure. If I have played my part well, clap your hands and dismiss me with applause from the stage. Better a cautious commander, and not a rash one. Did I play my role well? If so, then applause, because the comedy is finished. Young men, listen to an old man to whom old men listened when he was young. Only that which is well done is quickly done. If we could survive without a wife, citizens of Rome, all of us would do without that nuisance. At the age of 19, on my own initiative and at my own expense, I raised an army by means of which I restored liberty to the Republic which had been oppressed by the tyranny of a faction, for which service the Senate, with complimentary resolutions, enrolled me in its order. I had a good mind to discontinue permanently the supply of grain to the city, reliance on which had discouraged Italian agriculture, but refrained because some politician would be bound one day to revive the dole as a means of ingratiating himself with the people. I came to see a king, not a row of corpses. Nothing common can seem worthy of you. You cheer my heart, who build as a throne would be eternal. 
Which quotes, did you like the most? Share your opinion in the command. Don't miss out to see the next video. Subscribe.